my journal on July 31st when I was thinking about what I wanted to share, what the women in my audience need to hear and need to understand in this moment. So it says, we are pressured so much to look good under pressure. Be a strong woman. Don't let them see you sweat. Make a little look like a lot. Smile through the pain. Make it look easy, even when we're struggling. And while that's good in a season, it's no way to spend your life. And in an effort to be the strong one for everybody else, you need to be sure you aren't doing it at the cost of your own well-being, watering everybody else's garden from your dry place. People who are flourishing on the inside can sense when others need to be poured into. And I wrote that because I realized that a lot of women who are struggling secretly don't have people around them who are flourishing. They have people around them who are also struggling secretly. So everyone's running around trying to look perfect. Everyone's running around trying to do their best. And while there's nothing wrong with that, if you're doing that from a dry place, like I wrote, what happens is no one's really supporting anyone else. And I had this conversation with my 13 year old earlier today. And I was talking about friendships and how we bond over shared pain, right? Instead of bonding over belief in possibility and belief in purpose and belief in the future, we bond over shared pain. And what I was sharing with her is as young people, we bond and we complain about our parents you know, oh, my mom doesn't understand or my dad doesn't understand or my parents are too strict and oh, this homework is so hard and we, we go through these things and yes, it's great to have that group that understands what it is that you're going through but you also need to have people in your life who are going to pull you forward, who are going to pull you higher, who are going to help your mindset to get to the point where you're not stuck in that place anymore and you're not constantly going in circles meeting back, meeting those same people back in those same moments, having those same conversations over and over again. And what I was explaining to her is that as a teenager, you know, you're sending the little text to your par to your friends about your parents or school or whatever it is that you're complaining about. That turns into you going on shopping trips and going to brunch and meeting up with your girlfriends to have these complaining sessions, basically. It's amazing to offload your feelings. It's amazing to have a safe space to offload those thoughts and those feelings and to talk out what it is that you're going through. But after you're done talking about it, what do you do? Do you then go back to, to the way that everything else was before? so that you just repeat the same cycle and then you have something else to complain about and then you meet up with that same friend again for brunch or for drinks or for whatever or you call them up again two o'clock in the morning crying about the same situation that you've talked about over and over again and i'm not saying this from a place of not caring about how you feel but i've been there I've been there where I reached the point where I was like, this is the last time. This is the last time I'm crying about this. This is the last time I'm talking about this. This is the last time I'm complaining about this. I'm going to do something. What can I do in this situation that's going to help it to get better? right? And if I can't do anything in this situation that's going to help the situation to get better, what can I do in me? What can I change in me to help me to be better, right? Because there are some things that are outside of your control and as painful as they are, what is within your control is what's within you. And could it just be that there are changes that you need to make within you that are going to then affect the situation in your life? Could it be? That the real transformation that you're looking for, the real change that you're looking for, isn't in your circumstance, but it's inside of you. 
It's so easy to make it about the other person. It's so easy to make it about your situation. But when we face what's happening within, that's when we really start to pull the giants down in our lives. So I really want to encourage you to get in the room with people who are going to pull you forward and who are going to pull you higher. They're going to hold you where you are. There are people who can hold you and hug you and make you feel safe where you are. And those same people can still pull you forward and still pull you higher. Is there a woman in your life who is reaching out her hand and saying, I have you, not to hold your hand in that place and keep you in that place, but to hold your hand firmly and pull you deeper inside of you so that you can see what it is that you are really battling and then reach a place where you are so sure-footed and grounded that you can start walking towards the future that you actually want instead of walking in circles in a life that you don't. I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. I'll talk to you soon.